tech fans. Glad to see you guys here once again at Tech of Tomorrow. Once again, we're bringing you a technology video at another cool location. This time, we're at a restaurant called The Ranch House, sitting in a corner, shh, trying to hope no one notices. We even asked they turn the country music down, because man, that shit was rocking. Now, what are we doing here today? Well, today, we're gonna show you guys something really cool. Now, smartwatches, wearable tech, they're all out of the market everywhere. Now, the product I have in front of me, it's the Phosphor Touch Time. Now, this thing's not quite a smartwatch, but it is a smarter watch than your standard watch. For one thing, it's got a completely digital user interface. So the user can sit there, click on the watch, do whatever they want, do it all by touch and by a touch screen as well, unlike your old traditional stuff. So with that said, let's take a close up of this thing, see what it's all about and see why Foster is trying to push this on you. The capacitive touchscreen, as well as contributing to the name, also allows a smartwatch like UI to be employed. Switching between the top level screens is accomplished by a swipe across the screen to either the right or the left. App selection is through a tap on the screen and switching through views in each individual application is accomplished with either an upwards or downwards swipes. There's quite a lot here, more than you might think. A lot of different things, stopwatches, you have reminders, calendar type dates, world time, all your settings, even a control for lunar and obviously a calculator for those people whose life needs to add up to something. This is pretty interesting stuff. Now, although it doesn't do anything automatically, like it does not connect to the internet, it doesn't go out to anywhere and automatically update itself, you do everything manual, it's still a lot better than a standard watch and everything's done through a touch face user interface. All right, folks, so there you have it, the Phosphor Touch Time. Now, is this thing truly a smartwatch? I don't think it's really a smartwatch. It's a smarter watch than your standard watch, that's for sure. But to me, a smartwatch would be something that actually does things automatically, updates, connects to the internet, and stuff like that. Now, the market for this is going to be kind of weird in today's technological market. I mean, think about it. This came out 10 years ago. I'd be like, Phosphor, you guys are the baddest ass mofos on the planet. This thing is just like super jumping off the hoop, amazing. But the thing is now, a lot of people have phones. And most phones that come out nowadays have a lot more features. They have everything that's in this watch and a lot more. Now, are a lot more of them a lot pricey? Yeah, you know, and the screen on this is pretty cool. Though you guys can see I'm now wearing it. I got it all set up, did the time and all that stuff, checked it out. And I mean, it's kind of just trippy to me that you can actually go on here though and you can like see the lunar moon. So, I mean, that's kind of weird. I don't know how they're doing that. I don't know. Maybe it's according to a calendar date that's been preset somewhere. Because if it's not going out and actually gathering this information somewhere, how's it telling me what the moon is doing? Or is there a man on the moon sending that information and it's just going through the watch? I don't know. Gotta check with the people on that one. But like I said, if this would have come out 10 years ago, it really would have been the shiznik in technology. As it is right now, I think there's some people that'll like this. Because for one thing, if you want to have a bunch of scheduling and stuff really easy, it's pretty cool. You can go in there, schedule yourself reminders. You can schedule an alarm clock to wake yourself up in the morning. You can go to the gym. You can set the thing for like a thing and time yourself for 10 minutes, you know. There's just all kinds of different applications you can do. You can use a calculator. It obviously tells you the time, world time, so you can know what's going on. You know, what time it is at Perry when you're eating your burger in LA. I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. But I personally, and I'm not trying to beat up on Foster on this whatsoever, is I don't really know anybody who would actually go out and buy this just for those features because pretty much everybody I know here in the United States has a really good phone. Phones around here, like that's like the hot thing, you know. It's like, you know, you are you have a cool phone, you're the cool kid. Yeah, did do you see oh, I've got the cool phone, man? Oh yeah, bro, but have you seen mine? You know, it's like the biggest, you know, wanky waving contest around, it seems like to me, and everybody's got a good phone. But it's a great idea. Now, if Phosphor sticks with this idea, and they keep implementing more stuff into it, then I think it will grow. Like, the thing's only $159. It looks good. It's actually very, very comfortable. I'm wearing it here. And I have kind of a small, you know, watch collection. I don't really wear watches all that much. Like, I'll be honest, I probably won't wear this that much. But the thing is, it will go into my collection. And I've got some pretty cool ones here. I'm from close-ups. Check this one out. This one's actually pretty cool. In the front, it's got this. In the back, it's got a counterweight. It's kind of a really cool watch. And then I got this other one that I got for Christmas last year. It's a little Kenneth Cole thing. Now, these are all traditional, which is kind of in a way why I showed them to you guys too. These are traditional watches. Now, obviously, this watch is the next evolution past this. 
I will give Foss for that. This is definitely the next evolution from that. Pretty cool stuff, though. I mean, these are interesting, but obviously these are old school. Now, the one that I actually do wear quite a bit is the one that I uh, got for Christmas from uh, my friend from TLD, and that's this one right here. Because obviously, well, look, it's a Gibson watch. I mean, come on. Gibson, me, rock and roll. You know, so I wear this one quite a bit. You guys have seen it before. But I like this. It's a very cool thing for what it is. Now, next couple days, I got this though. So, this is the gear two. Now, I believe this is actually more of a true smartwatch, but the price on this compared to this is a leap and a jump. Now, this thing doesn't work as a standalone either. It actually works via through your phone. So through your Node or through your S, whatever series you have, this thing works through it where this thing's totally standalone. So I wanna hear your guys' opinions. How many of you guys out there would buy this for the $150 price range? And I want you to be honest and give your opinions because the people at Phosphor, they just built this company up. And actually there are a few very positive things. I'm sorry to ramble on guys. I know you guys hate a lot of talking, but these guys had a startup program. They were only supposed to get 50K. They actually got double that. They were able to launch everything, get this product to market and everything. So in that way, they are very much a success story as far as a Kickstarter program goes. So I give these guys a lot of credit. I wanna hear what you guys think. And if you guys would like to win one, leave comments down below because I think these guys would be more than willing to give one to one of you lucky folks. So let us know. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. All the information about this will be down below. They have a lot of different series starting out at like $99 going up. This is only one of the series I think we saw three or four. They come in all kinds of different shapes, sizes, and colors. Honestly, they do. Down below, down below that like button, which I know you guys are going to go, not Bruce Lee style this time. No. Uh -uh. I want you guys to Sugar Ray Robinson this one. I want you to Sugar Ray that thing. Sugar Ray. Take it down. Take it down. And you guys know the stuff? It's down there in the description. So I'm Elric. Thanks for watching. Hope this didn't bore you too much. Um, just, I'm, you know, I'm trying to find a lot of good and different things for it. By the way, you can see the little phosphor there on the side. Now, if only you had a laser that I could press right here and just shoot a laser beam out and get rid of my enemies.